and then this is also the controller that comes with the airlift performance 3p or 3h kit so this is how it looks it has a plug that goes into the back of it that also goes to the back of that big harness that i showed you on the manifold that plugs in and it's a long cable it's pretty long the cable runs all the way back there's a long cable so it goes it could fit anywhere up here in the console or you could put it you could get another um, case that hooks on top of there so you can always see but this is how it looks so basically this is the driver's side to air up you press this button to air down you press that button for the rear same thing driver's side up down passenger side up down uh passenger side passenger side rear up and down and then these are the five presets one two three the main one that's your ride height and four and five so five custom presets right now at the top right corner it says the present ride height because that's where the present ride height is uh that's where the car is set to right now the present ride height and on the top right over here is how much psi is in the tank it goes up to 200 but right now i have it only set to 185 so right now there is currently in each in the two front bags there's 42 uh, psi in each of the front bags and the rear has 41 and the other side has 39 so i know i'm not on the flat surface right now so i know the rear is definitely going to be off just a tad bit so that's another thing so to be able to air up the car you have driver's side up down the rear on the driver's side up and then down and then the passenger side up and down and then up and down and then you have the five presets you have one that's here and the green arrows indicate where it's at for the all the way up and then you have the second preset which the car will air up to that limit right there and then you have the ride height and then you have uh, present low and then you have aired out so those are some of the features of the airlift performance controller so now I'm gonna talk about the settings So to be able to get to the settings on the controller, you would just press the middle, press down in the middle button and press up. And that will take you to the main settings. So the first one you have is display. So if you go to press the middle button to go to display, it will have the brightness, the sleeping of the brightness sleep time all up all down and then they'll have units so you can put psi for units you could put the psi or you could put a bar and then the all down you can customize how you want the functions of the all up, all down, the front down, present, aired out. All right. So those are all the different settings for display. And now operations. So for operations, there's rise on start. So basically, let's say that I come out of a store and the car is aired out and I forget the car is aired out there's a feature where basically will 
as soon as I turn the car on, it will rise to whatever I have the present ride at. So whatever I have the ride height at now, it will automatically air up from whatever, um, if it's aired out and whatever present ride height I said, it will go to that present ride height as soon as I start the car up. So that's a really good fe feature. I have it on right now and preset maintain. Um, so let's say for this, we are driving on the road for a while and we come to a stop, the car will automatically start adjusting and making sure the car is adjusted to what your ride height is set at. So let's say we're on a flat road, we're come to a stoplight and we're on a flat road, the car will start, the button will start flashing down here and the car will all me automatically uh, start adjusting to the ride height that you said, which is another cool feature. So if I stop at a light, the car will just automatically start adjusting. I don't have to do anything. I just start up the car and start going and it will continue to maintain that preset. And then you can also set the minimum uh, vehicle cool, um, minimum drive height for the vehicle. Right now I have mine is on 0%. And then this is the big feature right here. So right now I have mine's under height because I have the height sensors on. So if I decided to not run the height sensors, I could keep it in pressure mode. So let me give you an example. So let's say we have a driver, a uh, passenger come sit inside the car and two people in the rear come sit inside the car there's gonna be more load on the car with more people inside of the car with pressure only so to be able to have the car adjust you can double tap on the ride height to adjust it with people in the car but the high sensors you don't have to do anything the car would automatically adjust with other individuals coming and sitting inside of the car so that's one plus with having the right with the um, uh, with the height sensors okay so I'm gonna leave it on height mode and then the anti cross load so for the anti cross load this feature only comes with when you have the height mode set. So this is another feature that comes when you have the high sensors connected. It's this anti cross load. So basically this means when you have the high sensors, you have basically pressure and the high sensors working all in one. So any kind of load that you get on the car so any type of weight like i was explaining earlier any kind of weight that you add to the car it will correct itself and automatically adjust to whatever the ride height that you have set for the car so any kind of turns or any weight that's in the car it would automatically adjust with this feature turned on so I also have this uh, feature turned on anti cross load so one other feature that is also great for this kit is called show mode so it basically means it provides operation with ignition off for one ignition cycle so basically let's say i turn show mode on and then i pull the i turn off the car and pull the key out and show mode is on and i pull out the app on my phone i am and i put the keys in my pocket i'm able to 
air the car up and down without even without the car even on so that's an amazing feature right there where you're able to air the car up and down with the keys not even in the ignition you can have the keys in your pocket and you can air the car up and down at the car events which is really really good that's another great feature and I will go I'll show show mode later on and then Bluetooth pair Bluetooth pairing is also another feature where it enables you to pair your phone to the management for the Bluetooth signal. So that's another feature. So that's all of the different operations that we have in here. And then you have setup, which is the sensor tool for the sensors so so this is another great feature that airlift has where you can basically tell and see if your high sensor is in range so if we air up and down the car so let's do the front left you see when i air the car down the psi drops if i air the car up so basically the sensor is going up and down and it's showing that with the sensor you can use the sensor tool to check if the sensor is actually in range or if it's going to go out of range so we have one for the front left the front right the right left and the right right so this is another great tool that comes with in with with the uh, kit that you can also tell whether if the sensor with the sensor tool if the height is in range so that's another cool feature another one is compressor you can turn the compressors control the compressor manually you can turn it off and on you can enable the compressors you can do it so basically this feature is you can turn the compressors on manually so i have it off because we're going to have it uh, work automatically when it uh, goes down if the tank runs out of air so the compressor is on you can enable disable and then you can put what kind of uh how many compressors you have do you have dual compressors do you have a single compressor i have two compressors so it'll be dual and then max pressure um, this is what I was um, telling you guys earlier about the maximum tank pressure. You can put it up to 200 uh, PSI, but right now I only have it set as 185. So it could go all the way up to 200 PSI that you could hold inside of the tank. And then do the duty cycle. And then you can set the compressor's duty cycle. So duty cycle for the compressor is automatically default to run at 50%. So this is the compressor duty cycle. So let's go back and then the minimum battery voltage is set at 11. And then you can also do a factory reset. <clears throat> so for calibration basically you can calibrate each individual bag it would do it automatically so when you calibrate the car it will ask you if the car is on the flat surface is there anything in the way from leaving the car air up and down if you have two compressors um, if you have dual compressors etc etc and it will you can calibrate the whole system with just this one feature and then that's about it I went through all the features for the controller so it's pretty uh straightforward if you want to air the car down some on this side you can hear it if you want to 
So if we want to air the car up, we will just press the button twice. So as soon as it, if the car starts lifting up, you hear the compressor come on in the back and the car will air up. So press on top, press on high. So it's adjusting to that. To the present ride height, it will adjust there. If you want to go to present low, it will go there. And if you want to air out the car, you just double tap and the car will air out. So let's go to back to the present ride height. And that's what we have right there. And then you could probably hear the compressors running in the background, filling up the tank. If you notice with two compressors, It's filling up pretty quick back to 185. With one compressor, it will take definitely some time to fill it up to whatever um, PSI you want to have in the tank. So it's filling up pretty quick to 185 that we have it set to. So that's why I really recommend having two compressors. So I'm gonna leave it fill up. And it's not as loud in here because you guys can hear me talking. And then when we get to 185, the compressors were shut off. So that's why I'm recommending also get the isolator kit if you decide to run two compressors because it really helps with the amount of sound and vibration so that's it for now this is the um, airlift performance uh, 3p slash 3h controller and these are some of the settings and features that came with the um, with this controller that i showed you guys and it's they definitely did a good job with this um controller definitely uh so if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. I'm gonna have another video on using the, the next video will probably be using the app on my phone and leaving letting you guys see how you're able to control airing the car up, down with all the five presets through the phone. So if you like this video, hit a like and subscribe for uh, more videos that I have for uh, this car.